So hi, I'm Annette Harpley, founder of The Passion of Poetry, and we're starting session two today. So all poets are here. Something that, well, some of the poets are here. So we'll be joining in this in a few minutes. Something that we're doing different this time during the session is some of the poets elected to exchange poems and we'll be reciting each other that they have been paired with. So that's something new. So what will happen is I will call upon your name. I have it listed in the order that you signed on for the event. And then you will, the first round, I need for you to introduce yourself and um, give whatever information you would like to uh, have everyone know about you. And then after that, recite your first poem. So we'll only be doing one round per, uh, or one poem per round. So the first round, you'll do your first poem, second round, second poem, so forth and so on. So we're going to start with Kathy Jo Blakely, or Blake Bryant, who um, is now in Missouri. She's in the United States. She was formerly in California. But Kathy Jo, if you would unmute yourself, please, and introduce All yourself. Right. Okay. Um, I have one. Annette, were you able to get the picture? If not, I'll just go ahead and read it, I guess. <laughs> I can, I can do this. I can hold it up so they can see it. So let me Yeah, they just need to see it because it's by this prompt and it means a lot more if they could see what I saw. <laughs> okay, let me let me get it up here. All right. So it's a beautiful bed. I wish I had that bed. Yeah. Very regal looking. <laughs> yeah. So this, this is a bed. See the bed? Lovely, isn't it? Wow. Yes. I'd like to sleep in that just one time. Okay, take it away, Kathy Joe. Okay, it was inspirational. So the na I named the poem, Dream Golden Dreams. I Am I in the palace of a king and a queen? Just look at this bed with luxurious sheen. Nothing but gold as the color of choice. Enough to make any soul rejoice. Draperies, coverlets, swags with elegance. All you behold, nothing without opulence. What golden dreams you'd have while asleep. No dreams of sadness to cause you to weep. The headboard boasts carved pottery decor, spilling over with floral arrangements to adore. Stunning tassels and fringes and bows of brocade. Lavish, lovely gold footposts with beauty displayed. Um, sorry here. I, I I can't read my word writing. <laughs> I needn't be begged to spend a grand night between these gold sheets, so glorious and bright. <laughs> Kathy, thank you, Kathy Joe. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so what will happen during here is that if you have any comments or anything that you would like to, please keep yourselves muted. Um, until it's your turn to speak and um let me see hold on just a second well lena it says i don't know if you're muted or not it's not letting me mute you but it's showing that you're not muted but just make sure you're muted everyone um and welcome danilo lita which is as actually um Maria, isn't that Maria? I think it's Maria. So, uh, did she just leave? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go on. We're going to proceed. So, next we have, um, so as far as the paired poems that you all have, that will be done the third round. So, save those until the third round. Isabel, tell me, it is your turn. If you would like to unmute yourself, please, sir. All right, good afternoon to you all from Nigeria. I am Isbetome from Nigeria. I've been writing since I was 14. And all to date, I've been able to publish three books. I, I want to perform or recite my first poem here, which I titled How I Wished I was a kid. All right, I read now. 
zero worries about life glories, jumping with the plates, even when poverty inflates, pours down tears, mommy does caress, how I wished to be a kid, seated for mom and dad to feed. Life has many troubles that make the heart grumble. Adulthood should cases bubbles, if not fame, the food stumbles. How I wished I was a kid, all my pain mom did read. Dad buys me my toys to see me flung in joys. Childhood knows no pain, nor a color of a stain. If not for demand and need, why would I be any more a kid? Thank you. Thank you. I think all of us would like to be a kid again for just a little while. Thank you for that. That was wonderful. All right. Next, we have Lolita. If you would please unmute yourself. I think you're muted, maybe. Good evening from the Philippines again. I'm Lolita Lodos Despre, a retired professor three of State College, but presently is still a mentor in a private institution. I'm I'm no, I'm always happy. I am speaking different kinds of or genre of literature, specifically poetry. Okay, good evening. I'm going to have now the first poem. Okay. Freedom. A man can spread his wings anytime, but with a purpose. They can spring those talents to anyone, but for a good cause. Man can twist his leg as a dancer in order to make his life awake. And this is the so-called freedom of man. Man can speak all the way, but not against the world. He seeks friends everywhere to be with somebody closer to him. If a man be friend with anybody, because no man is an island. We can move and swing with the light because we have freedom. In every journey of one's life, man can live with steps of love and kindness. He can share moments of happiness to anyone he likes to. Man can project something in his mind to perceive what is good to others, but always remember that freedom is in us but not to hurt the world. That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, you all remember that um, you can also uh, make comments if you wish in the chat. Um, I usually don't because I'm busy kind of doing other things, but feel free, please, to leave uh, comments there. And then later you will get a transcript of that. Um, Welcome, Manisha. We're just making our first rounds, and I'll call upon you later, but it's good to have you here, dear. Next, we have uh, Vishwas. It is your turn, dear sir, if you'd like to unmute yourself. Yes. Mm. I'm audible. Yes. yes. Oh, good. Mm. I'm <coughs> Vishwas Vaidya from. Pune, India. Hmm. Uh, by profession, I am involved in engineering research, engineering scientist, hmm. engaged in consulting, teaching for <coughs> masters of engineering students. Hmm. I'm also a globally published poet. Hmm. Both my engineering research as well as um, poetry hmm, has been published internationally and translated. Okay. Hmm. So I will start uh, with my first poem. The title is, uh, How is Life? Hmm. Many times we run into people and they ask us, how is life? We have no answer, no particular answer. The poet uh, tries to 
answer the question. Never ask me how is life. Never ask me how is life. My eyes giggled. My eyes giggled at my old love running into me after a long spell. Many times you run into somebody who are not met for long duration. The first question is, how is life? So never ask me, how is life? My eyes giggled at my old love running into me after a long spell. Gaze into the mirror. This is my answer. Gaze into the mirror and answer will smile back at you. Gaze into the mirror and the answer will smile back at you. My eyes mirror her amused gaze. When I answered, my eyes also turn into a mirror. Gaze into the mirror and the answer will smile back at you. My eyes mirror her amused gaze. So what is the explanation? Because ever since I met you, because ever since I met you, you have become my life. Ever since I met you, you have become my life. That's why you should gaze into mirror, you will get the answer. So that was the point. Thank you very much. Beautiful and romantic. Thank you, dear sir. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Eddie, you are next, dear sir. If you would like to unmute yourself, please. Uh, good, good evening, Annette. This is Evelyn. I'm are you, are you are you calling me? Is it my turn now? Um, no. I am using my husband's Evelyn. Yeah, Evelyn, Maria Evelyn Kilia Soleta. Uh I'm not sure what's going on. I'm right in the middle of a session. Yeah, I'm right I'm, I'm Evelyn. Is it my turn or are you referring to somebody? Um, okay, are you you're Evelyn Salida? Okay, I see you now. Uh -huh. um, it's not your turn. It's not your turn yet. I will call you uh, shortly. Right now, it is. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, right now it's Eddie's turn. If you could please unmute yourself, Eddie. Eddie. Um, we had problems with Eddie last time getting unmuted. So, you got it? And welcome to Mildred Parr, who also joined us. Good to have you, Manisha. Good to see you as well. Um, okay. So, Eddie... I, you, you're not on yet. You're still muted. So I'll give you about 10 more seconds to unmute. If you can't, we're going to go on to the next one. You can work on that unmuting. Okay. So, uh, Shalini, if you would please, um, be next. We'll come back to Eddie. And, yes, um, uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, my name is Sharini Adal. I'm from India. I'm going to read a poem, Admiration. Uh, my poem's title is Admiration. I feel your greatness as an elephant when, like an ant, I bite you. I feel your anger as a wisp when I think to hurt. When I think to hurt me, I feel your boldness as a lion when I try to threaten you. I feel your slyness as a fox when I try to argue with you. I feel your cleverness as a chimpanzee when I try to win you. I feel your clumsiness as a bear when I squirrel with you. I feel your gentleness as a fawn when I express my love for you. I feel your greediness as a hog when I want you to do something great. I feel your persistence as a mosquito when I try to scold you. I feel your ego egoism as a peacock when you deny for companionship with me. I feel your freedom as a bird when you fly as you wish. 
I feel your timidness as a mouse when you follow social norms without thinking about me. I feel your hunger as a wolf when you want me to be a writer. I feel your stubbornness as a mule when you don't bend down for me. I feel how slippery you are as a snake when I try to hold you and you just uh, don't be in my catch. I feel how sure-footed you are as a goat when I spread a net for you. I admire you with all pride as my soulmate and promise to walk with you all over my life. Thank you. Very beautiful and romantic. Thank you. Eddie, are you able to um, unmute? Please make your comments in the chat. You can't. Okay. So through this, Eddie, continue to work on that, and then we'll get back to you as soon as that happens. Um, we are going to go to Gloria next. And um, Shamanez, Dr. Shamanez and Lucky, welcome. And uh, we're doing the first round of recitations. So. Gloria, if you would unmute yourself, please, and introduce yourself and recite your first poem, please. Are you having problems unmuting too? Gloria. Um, okay, so Gloria's gone with Jason, and that's Esther. If you would please unmute yourself. And uh, recite, please. Hello, Namaskar, everyone. Do you hear me? Uh, thank you. Uh, good evening, yeah. everyone. I'm uh, Shukhe Ganjan uh, from the planet Earth, Bangladesh, to Bangladesh. First of all, I would like to express <coughs> my sincere gratitude and love to the Almighty God, and then the authority to of passion of poetry, especially dear Annette Carplay, who <coughs> gave me this serious opportunity to share my poems, thoughts, feelings among the honorable poets of different parts of the world. Uh, welcome. Uh, first, I'm going to recite my first poem. Uh, the title of my first poem is Not to be a poet, but to love poetry. I write in joy or in pain. Not to be a poet, but to love poetry. When whatever comes to mind or she, what is so, I write in pain on the canvas of time. If Ever a letter of this blossom lecture or back to the words of mouth, the wayfarer who forgets the past and pride of fierce puzzle, or the bird that loses its neck and pride of calling. There is little peace if two or four letters in the fire of protest against injustice is extinguished. For conscience is sold to interest, and if death of all concerns happens prematurely, a spark or vigilance was dog of concerns if any word, sound, or brain chronic I write. So with joy or pain, not to be a poet, but to love poetry. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for doing that. Um, everyone needs to make sure that they're on mute um, when you're not reciting, because when we get the videos back, it won't it won't be a picture of the the person reciting. It's going to be a picture of you because you have noise in the background. So, um, Eddie, I see that you have yourself unmuted. Um, I want okay. you to introduce yourself and recite, but we're going to have okay. to mute again afterwards so um, welcome Eddie. go ahead and recite okay good evening to everyone i'm uh, eddie gualvez uh, from the philippines i uh, i'm going to recite my uh, uh, first poem uh, entitled uh, the dream of uh, destiny 
Okay, I uh, this is how I will start. Consider me a man of motivated and ambitious. Knowing time is precious, waste it wisely. Pursuing the right path and the right decision, the possibility that time to be worth it. The path norm rules urge me to discourage and not to follow. My steep directions, speed and purpose along the way in order to fulfill and connect to a well-balanced society. The past story crossed my mind to an open crucial childhood time. It evokes my memories, the dreams that night, that someday I will become a soldier. And that dreams amazingly came true. When the call of duty bestowed on me, facing the hardest, the hardest time of training and the calm. Chosen this difficult, but quitting is not an option. I want to train and earn for my training foundation to preserve me for combat field duty. How happy am I at the end of the day when retirement is calm and the call of duty sell out, proud to say my word in my hidden heart that my service rendered for the love of country and people because I run obediently and follow the command and now my life months it says you'll take the uniform off one day but still be a soldier once a soldier always a soldier by choosing our path we chose our destination that part of my dreams being a soldier is immeasurable now now after the hope of the country's any good bow, I mean now revert my body, mind, and soul. And returning back to my normal is my goal. But my supported or my supported family welcome me for my home. Expressing my thanks to God preserved me for home. A mark to play the roles of another plants. And that is my uh, first poem. Very nice, very, very strong piece. Thank you for reciting for us, Eddie. Um, you're gonna have to mute yourself again. Everybody needs again once more, make sure they're muted, but hopefully you've figured out how to unmute again. So that would be wonderful. And Gloria, have you? Uh, figured out how to unmute yourself yet? Gloria? Nope, she's back out. Okay. So we're going to go on to the next person. Um, Gopal? You are, are you there? Yeah, there you are. Sir, if you would unmute yourself, please, and recite, for, uh, introduce yourself and recite. That would be wonderful. So, Gopal? Yes. Hello. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, hold on. Just a second. Gopal, can you wait just a moment? We finally got Gloria unmuted. I'll go uh, to why you not? next. I'll go why to not? you next. Why not? Thank you. I appreciate that. I always get scared once once we get unmuted. If we mute again, we can't unmute. So we're going to take Gloria while we can take her. So Gloria, if you could introduce Hi. yourself. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Gloria in San Francisco, California. Sorry about that. I had like some problems with my wireless uh, Bluetooth. Anyways, um, the poem I'm going to read is titled, Love is a Universal Gift. It goes, to love someone is an universal gift, an act of kindness and understanding. The feeling is strong and endearing. 
Love doesn't have to be black or white. Even a different species knows what to say and feel. Shows deep affection and lots of love for another. Love sometimes finds you in a old, weird, and different places, especially when you're not looking forward to seeing. But it just happens in many mysterious ways. To love someone is with all your heart, through thick and thin, till time passes by. Yearning for happiness and blessings in life. Love is not a selfish thing, but a joyous one to express. A deeper and mutual understanding of two individuals. Someone to kiss, hug, lean, caress, and spend for years to come. Love is a bond that symbolizes the beauty of grace and unity. A spell that is hard to break and be undone by anyone. Everlasting love to cherish our hearts, to hold forever. And that's the end. Until the next one. Thank you. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. All right. Next um, up, we have Gopal. Sorry. If you could please go ahead and mute yourself, sir. All of us I think John for getting out of here and started having to build up for eight to Hello, am I audible? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Am I audible? Yes, we can hear you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me first go to my mother, my motherland, and my mother language, and then my respectful greetings to all of you. Myself, Gopal Sinha from India. I am a retired civil engineer. Now spending most of my time in reading, writing, and singing. I write both in Hindi and English, poems, short stories, essays. Many of them found place in various anthologies. I like to sing old Hindi songs. I have my own channel, by the way, <clears throat> YouTube channel. Now I am going to recite. Uh, three poems, two would be mine, and one written by my friend, uh, Mr. Susthir Ranjan Sarkar from Bangladesh. Yeah, uh, well, we'll say that uh, until we'll say that until round three. So the first two rounds will be yours, and then uh, uh, one one poem per round, and then the last round we'll do that. We'll do the ones that we paired up with. So thank you. So I am going to present my first poem with the caption living in the moment living in the moment past is gone future is uncertain past is gone future is uncertain it is only present that remains past is gone future is uncertain it's only present that remains why should one feel remorse why should one feel remorse or build castles in the air? Why should one feel remorse or build castles in the air? To live in the moment is always fair. To live in the moment is always fair. Let go of the past. Let go of the past. Don't wait for the future. Let go of the past. Don't wait for the future. Every moment. Every moment is precious every moment is precious one must be conscious one must be conscious we all know time doesn't stop we all know time doesn't stop opportunity gone may ever be lost opportunity gone may ever be lost why not why not flow with the time why not flow with the time 
avail every chance avail every chance that comes by chance avail every chance that comes by chance enjoy everything readily available enjoy everything readily available but harmless harmless useful and enjoyable but harmless useful and enjoyable by living in the moment by living in the moment you cease to care repent you cease to care repent feel free from fears wants feel free from fears wants failures betrayals surmount failures betrayals surmount just live and let live just live and let live hardly anything to regret about hardly anything to regret about just live and let live hardly anything to regret about that's all thank you that was lovely thank you for sharing us with that, or sharing that with us it was quite nice very much appreciated remember to put your comments in the chat uh, box if you want to speak back and forth with each other and um i'm next gonna call upon uh evelyn you are up next my dearest if you would unmute yourself please okay thank you very much annette and everyone first of all i would like to greet each one of you a good evening it's uh 11 30 in the evening here in the philippines and it's a sunday to all of my fellow poets uh I would like to recite a poem I made during the pandemic. Actually, this was written in uh, 2021 when COVID was at its worst. Um, I am a mother of four girls. Uh, I know that some of you have already uh, known me. And this is my second time or probably my third time to recite a poem with the uh, the Annette's group. Now, the title of my poem is uh, This Dreary World Still Breathes. Airy dawn is warm while you flutter your eyelids. Lips feel like granite at the wrong side of the bed. Unheard voice echoes. Where are you heading? Heading? Head to air, but it is only morning. This dreary world still breathes. Unlocking the heavily shut door and windows, the sunrise hurries to the dry up the dew. A Catholic church's bell rings promptly from afar. The priest offers sad oblations at the altar. This dreary world still breathes. Heavy salt smelling fried fish intoxicates. Next door hungry children gather to a feast. Eager fingers briskly whisk to bless the crumb with very little on the table to choose from. This dreary world still breathes. You find an old A-cut dress that still fits, wide in the neckline, gartered from the waist. What now are the extra pounds that you carry? Muffin-filled cheek where a dimple used to be. This dreary world still breathes. To your todays, yesterdays, even your tomorrows. To your morning joys, even your nights of sorrow. Uncertainties slip to consume you silently. Thankfully, the dear Lord above watches tenderly. This dreary world still breathes. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. I forgot to mute myself, so hopefully I didn't mess that up. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Appreciate it. Manisha, you are up next, my dear. If you would unmute yourself and introduce yourself and recite your first poem. Manisha, are you there? Um, okay, we're going to skip her. We're going to go on to Mildred Parr. Mildred, if you would go on, unmute yourself and introduce yourself and we can see your lovely face, that would even be better. Hello. Thank you. May I? 
Manisha, we're going to come back to you. So um, if you just hang in there, um, I'll come back to you in just a second. And Mildred, go ahead and recite, okay. and then we'll come back to Manisha. Thank you. Yeah. What a nice evening. <laughs> and I would like to uh, say good evening, good morning to whatever time you are. I will be reciting my poem. By the way, this is not my first time. Uh, and I've been here quite a while. So I'll be reciting my first poem, uh, the title of which is Brothers Keepers. Okay, Brothers Keepers. I will proceed to my poem. <laughs> I always want to write a verse that would elevate my sense, but I knew I lacked a view because I felt myopic. That is true. I want to open my eyes to the world in sense of reality, but I'm afraid to see the truth because no action I may bring forth. I am deeply happy and gay in my little world of fantasy and glee. But how can I ever deny the suffering of a greater humanity? I am no philanthropist who had money and magnanimity. I am only a small fry whose life is simple and full of triviality. But in my heart, I am full of intention. All I need is a deep, great motivation. A sense of ripple in true nobility to help my neighbors and the needy. I guess the revolution has started. We just need to keep it quite ignited. A sense of brothers keepers for the nation, though I'm somewhat afraid of the mission. It is, I guess, a Sisyphus task. How to start? I myself ask. Because I'm too soon to be an oldie, what contribution to the world I'd be. I hope God gives me the courage in my own simple way. I hope to be God's vessel of hope and inspiration, bring forth contribution to the nation. There you have my poem entitled Brothers Keepers. Thank you very much, Annette. This is a very wonderful opportunity uh, sharing myself or sharing my poem to everyone. <coughs> By the way, I'm from the Philippines. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you for sharing your beautiful poetry there, Mildred. Thank you. I'm going to go to Dr. Manisha Singh. If you could uh, go ahead and... Oh, well, you're already unmuted now, I see. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and... Uh, Thank, thank, you. thank you, Annette, and a very good evening from India. I am Manisha Singh from India. I am a teacher, and I compose a bit, not much. So here is one of my composition. What a beautiful world. Why do we only dream of a beautiful world? He should create and do what's worth. All contemplate, but none is assiduous to make this world a blissful land. All of us need to now realize mere mediocrity won't now suffice. Blessings have always been disguised, endured by the essence of excellence and ambitiousness to bring peace in the world. Understanding to be an uber human being, trustworthiness and truthfulness are the ideals which make us an immortal being. Faithfulness leads to forgiveness, unique person we all can be. Love and loyalty too will lead to warm-hearted and compassionate being, obliging whomever we come across, radiant and radical for a rosy cause. Liberal and lion-heartedness makes one dauntless and courageous to serve human. Thank you. 
Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that with us. Poetry is always so beautiful. We are going to go on to Mr. Lucky Stephen. If you could please um, unmute yourself, sir, and introduce yourself. Uh, we don't hear you y yet. You're still Hello. muted. Thank you. Uh, this is Lucky Stephen. Um, I am an administrator with um, Passion of Poetry, and uh, I'm glad to be here. This, um, my first poem will be a poem dedicated to writers who have, um, who take writing as a hobby and have other duties they engage in. I have been in that shoes and I wrote a poem when I was encumbered with um, so much work to do. And the title of the poem is the weight of concerns. Pleasant joys of poetic apperception, conjuring to life's various perception, the trills of perspicacious reception, act and daring pull of keen astuteness of what was, is, or could ever be. Well, Dr. Chuck sting like bee dowsing the fairy quills to less degree. With genuine weights of true concern, the books left on the shelf yet unread, or the halfway reviews kept instead, perhaps the need for bills and bread quenches the test, hunger greatly. This way so much, so we leave, seek out lost time of our love's cleave, so we mourn a while as one believe, without which our world will fall apart. Thank you. Hey, here, I left for, I could hear you the whole time, but I was trying to find a fan because apparently I'm having hot flashes. I can't find a fan. So thank you for sharing with us. That was Wonderful as always, dear Lucky. And uh, next, we're going to Dr. Shamanez. Good to see you. I, I think we'll be seeing you in just a second. If you could go ahead and recite yours, please. Yes, yes. Actually, uh, because of bad weather, uh, the internet connection is very bad. So if you don't mind, can I recite without opening the video? Because... Um, it might sure, interrupt. Sure, sure. So uh, I'm Dr. Shemenas from India, author, editor, and translator of 26 books. And um, uh, me, Dr. Manisha, and Annette, even Charlie, we are part of Progressive Literary and Cultural Society. So uh, the title of my first poem is Me and Moon. It is. It was written by me in uh, my native language, Hindi and Urdu. Then I have translated it in English. So, me and moon. Me and moon, we meet often and converse regarding worldly affair and life, circumstances and deceives of people, especially by loved ones or those who pretend to be. Does he listen my talk? Yes, I believe it. Because in reply, he spreads his light upon me, which comforts me as if it releases the burden of my heart. This is a different kind of feeling beyond human imagination. A divine and transcendental feeling. It comforts my soul. My friend Manju calls Moon as counselor and me a companion of loneliness. Sun, which inspires me a lot because of its light and distant quality. But my relation with him has been broken long ago. But this is not the same with Moon. I feel that my relation with Moon is everlasting. Thank you. Um, moon and Sun are the heavenly bodies which I am referring in this poem. Thank you very much, Dr. Shamanes. 
appreciate it. It was wonderful. Uh, I'm still still trying to find a fan. I remember this light has a fan on it. <laughs> so we are going to go to our next person, which is me, I guess. So I'll have to recite my. This is one that I recently wrote. Um, had a lot of comments, so I guess I'll go ahead and recite it. Um, I do a lot of fiction type stuff. It's called Rest My Beloved. And this is actually a video on YouTube. He did a, uh, Alan Johnson did a great job of doing the video and the recitation. Rest, my beloved, for you are tired. Your body limp and weary. Your eyes are heavy laden with burdens. Your vision blurry. I will lie down beside you. My head rests on your smooth rising chest. Feel my heartbeat in tandem with yours beneath my feminine breast. Your breath, the sweet scent, a masculine musk, so very fine. Taste of your lips, a faint tartness, mimicking aged rhubarb wine. Daisy of plucked petals. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, always wins. Resting beneath your furrowed brows, secrets of unspoken sins. Angel wings pass by your long lashes, eyes flutter and close again. Breeze flowing through curtained windows, calm relinquishing to the wind. Do you dream of dark imaginings? Relentlessly, they invade your sleep. As I watch, your smile vanish, your face contorts, silent tears I weep. Take my hand, my beloved, let us escape to a wayward land where ocean waters shall greet bare feet on protected virgin sands. So thank you very much. And we are going to start round two. Remember round three, we'll share any of the paired poetry that we have set up. So we're going to start with Kathy Joe. If you will, um, again, recite your second poem. Thank you very much, dear. Okay, now here's the situation is I have three, two of my own and one of my partners. Now, the other person has that one to recite. So I have his to recite. So I had the total of three. Was that correct, or was I supposed to have four? No, three. You'll recite two of yours. The third round, you'll recite your paired one, the one that you exchanged. Well, I guess you'll hear it twice, because the, he was saying, well, where's your poem for me? So I gave him one, but um, I guess it won't hurt to hear it twice. Um, I'll read this one. Uh, and I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kathy Joe Bryant from Missouri, USA, and um, I've been in passionate poetry since almost since its inception. So, and Ed and I are good friends. <laughs> and um, I have two books. I have Golden Glowing Mushroom and Favorite Things in My World. Two books on Amazon. I'm working on a third. Anyway, so this uh, poem is called Jewels of the Heart. In the bottom of our hearts. And way down deep, there are treasures to be found where rare jewels do abound. They're, they've a sparkle all their own, as we can show. Oh, how great they truly are, each and every one a star. Diamonds glitter in the stash that wait to shine in their true and proper place, filling folks with joy and grace. Rubies glow among them too, a crimson hue. There the streams of life flow red, where it hurts and where we've bled. Emeralds lend the color green, a need for life. Living things grow well and sure, and will prosper and endure. Sapphires gladden with the blue, a piece of sky. Bring a glad and glorious day to the others in life's way. 
Topaz yields a golden glow, sun shining bright. We can bring this joy to you, help you weather problems too. Jewels rest within our hearts. Please go down deep. Bring them out for all to see. Share them, friends, so willingly. Thank you, Kathy Cho. That was beautiful. Thank you for reciting that. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Is it Tommy? Is that uh, the Tommy? It's your turn, my dear. If you want to unmute yourself, please. All right. Uh, my second poem is Together is Better. I read differently, you, me, in looks and hooks. Adorned, we are in sundry, your dark, another white, an artistry from creator's pen. Differently, but in a globe, we are prowess decks upon one another to build a bond, a glue that makes nature healthy. Together is better. Your feathers, mine too. Paint the sky, thus beauty erupts and peace and love stick together. And in high plains, we stand united like mirrors of rainbows. Over and again, together is better. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful writing. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you so much. Lolita, it is your turn, my dear. You would unmute yourself, please. This is my second poem. This is entitled, Just a Simple Smile. A simple smile can make you cry because it came from the bottom of your heart. Though simple as it is, but it's isn't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to repeat. Just a simple smile. A simple smile can make you cry because it came from the bottom of your heart. Though simple as it is, but its essence is as vast as the sky. When you were disgusted of what you've heard from others, which may be a negative statement or action, just not to feel the pain of those comments. Just have a simple smile to make you calm. In every endeavor you want to achieve, just a simple smile can lead you clean. Or you fall on the way can let you soar, and like a bird, you'll reach what you're aiming for. Without a pit to find happiness and peace, drop off your sadness to find serenity and light. Carry on to your shoulders to trust your feet in yourself. So that what you wish will be access, success with a simple smile on your face. Don't be disgusted if you have not reached the stars. Someday, we'll catch the stars of your own. Don't forget to wear just a simple smile because it will be your path going to your good fortune. Just a simple smile, the world will love you. Just a simple smile, you will love them too. Just a simple smile, you will love to everyone. Because you will feel that just a simple smile, it is the recipe to have a healthy life. Good evening from the first. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next up we have... Vishwas, you want to uh, please unmute yourself, sir? Uh, yes. Mm, I'm audible, correct? Yes. Yeah, mm. Yes, you are. Uh, the second poem has its title as The Pain Dance. Mm, we have monsoon at India, and a rain dance mm, is quite common for celebrating mm, monsoon. So, and the rhyming with that, it is a pain dance, dancing in the pain. Mm. Many times we exchange a smile 
with our loved one and we can see through the smile that there is a lot of pain inside. Hmm? So that is what this poem is woven around. Pain like a captive bird. Hmm? Pain like a captive bird is gasping to escape the prison of your smile. Hmm. Pain like a captive bird is gasping to escape the prison of your smile. Hmm. If only our love can lapse into a blissful oblivion of the world around. Hmm. So the pain is trapped inside. Hmm. How can you open the cage and release the captive bird? Hmm. If only our love can lapse into a blissful oblivion of the world around, my lips my lips would then kiss open my lips would then kiss open shackles of your smile hmm. shackles of your smile letting your naked pain erupt into a dancing tear my kiss would then kiss open shackles of your smile letting your naked pain erupt into a dancing tear marching along the music of our hearts marching along the music of our hearts weaving together a divine work of art weaving together a divine work of art. so that was the pain dance thank you beautiful thank you very much thank sir you. it was lovely mm -hmm. thank you very much um eddie if you could try to unmute yourself sir okay yeah uh, thank you very much uh, my next uh, poem is about also a smile. Okay, this is why I uh, will start. A smile costs uh, nothing, but it creates much. It reaches those who receive it without impoverishing those who gave it. It happens in a blast, and memory of it may last forever. None are so rich that they can get along without it, and none so poor that they cannot be richer for its benefits. It creates happiness in the home. Posters goodwill in a business and in the counter sign of friends. It is rest to the weary, daylight to the discouraged, sunshine to the sun, and nature best antidote for trouble. Yet it comes uh, be begged, both borrowed or stolen. For it is something that is worth nothing to anyone until it is given away. And that is my second poem. Thank you very much for Thank listening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And uh, Shalini, if you would uh, go ahead and recite yours. It was beautiful, Annie. Shalini, you're up next. Yes, yes, Annie. And just give me one minute. Uh, my next poem is uh, Butterflies Flutter. This poem has been translated into 37 languages. So uh, this is a short poem, not a long one. So I'll be reciting this one now here. Butterflies flutter, uh, flutter. This is the title of this poem. In that moment of loneliness, with helpless subdued, pride wounded, and heart rendered, one seeks to unshackle the restraints of a wild world, but suddenly hears deep inside a flutter of a butterfly full of color, ready for flight in a cerulean, an inner voice of one full of hope, opening a path to a ride in the cosmos, a whisper soft and soothing, listen to fly over the hurdles of life. Thank you. Very beautiful. Thank you for sharing that with us. It's lovely. Next up, we have uh, Gloria. You are up next, my dear.
Hello, um, I'm back. Um, anyways, um, my name is Gloria. I'm in from I'm from San Francisco, California, and I want to let everybody know that I started with Pop when it was only about like 300 members. So I've been with uh, Miss Annette Tarpley's uh, group for about a year, and I'm so glad that I finally uh, am a member because you know who started to got me to be going with it was Miss Helen Sarita from another uh, group, which is uh, FPB, Filipino uh, Filipino uh, Points of Blossoms. So that's how it started. So anyways, I'm going to um, recite my second poem, which is titled Fighting Negativity. I think I wrote this way back in uh, last year, actually in August. So it's kind of old, but Everybody kind of responded it, so that's why I wanted to um, recite it. And it kind of resonates with what's going on everywhere, where, everywhere everybody goes. So here it goes. In a floating abyss of nowhere, here I ponder on the past events. My enthusiasm is hitting somewhere as time is floating slow at present trying to shake off all this negativity around, consuming me of my strength inside. No, I can't fight obstacles that surrounds as a pace to a triumph is coming on my side. It's slowly giving me the upper hand. Gladly, I'll be back on the men as life is precious and enjoyed to the fullest, letting me, letting my worries guided by God, for He is the greatest. If there's anything that hints of uncertainty, this world we live now can be unpredictable. Praying for everyone's safety is all we want for eternity, for we all can be in harmony as we have faith in the Almighty. And that is the second poem of mine called Fighting Negativity. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing that very positive, uh, inspirational message. Thank you. So next up, we have uh, your sister. If you want to go ahead and unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome once again. I'm going to uh, reset my next uh, second poem. The title is Just That I Love Her. Thank you. Suddenly with her on the street. Suddenly with her on the street. Quite dramatic. Not desirable. But maybe the game of the scene. After a long time. Face to face. But this time. The chest didn't tremble like before, but this time the chest didn't tremble like before, and the chest left that pain. No, it's gone. Through the miracle, power one day put the food there, but today longing another hand in that hand, and me as a in mind. Since then, even today, feeling of emotion, whatever it was, I covered it with the purple sheet and love growing up at an unimaginable rate, only towards her. Learned to love, still learning, but that isn't to say hatred or disrespect. Yet the sun rises. And said, Yet the sun rises and says, Just that I love her. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you very much. Um, it was very, very difficult for, um, I think, for me to hear, and I'm, I'm guessing most of us to hear you. So the next time you recite, I don't know if there's anything you can do to maybe make it more um, audible for us, but it was just a very distant. Um, for me and I couldn't really hear much of it but we appreciate your poem 
actually if you could if there's any way you can share that in the chat box that would be great so people could read it as well next up we have the gopal you're up next if you want to unmute yourself sir <clears throat> so here i am with my second poem it has the caption when we were young when we were young if youth is a state of mind if youth is a state of mind i feel still young at 70 if youth is a state of mind i feel still young at 70 enthusiastic a bit naughty enthusiastic a bit naughty she is much younger at 60 she is much younger at 60 it was the day of our marriage it was the day of our marriage when we had first met it was the day of our marriage when we had first met she was in her early 20s she was in her early 20s i had crossed it off late i had crossed it off late between the two young hearts between the two young hearts love gradually evolved to last forever between the two young hearts love evolved love gradually evolved to last forever we soon realized we soon realized to be made for each other we soon realized to be made for each other how much we used to care how much we used to care how much we used to share how much we used to care how much we used to share the bond became a stronger the bond became a stronger as she became a mother as she became a mother and it was a pleasure the bond became a stronger as she became a mother it was a pleasure looking after our children together looking after our children together age is just a number age is just a number when all these things we remember when all these things we remember we wish to have the same spirit we wish to have the same spirit ever youthful without limits we age is a age is just a number when all these things we remember we wish to have the same spirit ever youthful without limits thank you thank you very beautiful thank you for sharing that with us everyone writes such wonderful poetry all of your seller so next up we have evelyn if you could unmute yourself dear you are next um and is evelyn here yeah Thank okay you. oh there you are there you are i see you i'm uh -huh. sorry thank you i'm sorry i just cannot show my face because uh, um my eyes are so strained <laughs> from from uh, reading so much uh, for like uh, many nights so uh my second poem is very simple and it's entitled love a poetess and you will live forever this is for all of us especially for the girls here tonight. Love a poetess and you will live forever. Edna, Emily, Dorothy Parker, their pages immortalized, their muses thrive in the never to be forgotten. Ladies long been gone, gone but remembered. I feel their script. I smell the ink they once smudged on paper. Oh, this heart delights, delights and revels with theirs. Elizabeth, Georgina, Sarah Tisdale. Love a poetess and you will live forever. 
Thank you. Right, thank you very much, Evelyn. And next up, we have, that was beautiful, by the way. Next, we have up Dr. Misha. If you would unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Nice to be the part of the event. I'm really enjoying it. So my next poem is, uh, I too wrote it during the Corona times, seeing the all the casualties which were occurring and just it's a kind of prayer to God to remove this pandemic. So uh, it's a request on uh, behalf of humanity to the supreme power to shower his blessings upon us by eradicating this pandemic. So the title is Shower the Mercy. We apologize to you almighty. Be benevolent to all humanity. We seek your grace and recusation, embodiment of mercy and compassion. This pandemic is extremely hazardous. It's making all the human cadavers. The global environment seems ferocious. Every moment, it's essential to be cautious. Be generous now and tell us how to get rid of hellacious COVID now. Children of yours are pleading you. Forgive us now from this torment too. The scene is awful and indispensable. The immense loss is uncompensable. We cannot bear your retribution anymore, Lord. Do not inflict this anguish. It's so. We thoroughly need God, your clemency. Pardon us now and share your mercy. Bless us with joy health and prosperity. We hereby vow to serve humanity. We hereby vow to you almighty. Thank you. Thank you. That was beautiful as always. And um, the great humanitarian poem. Thank you so much. Next up we have dear Mildred, if you would go ahead and unmute yourself. Thank you. Okay, the poems are lovely and uh, very beautiful. Okay, uh, my second poem is entitled, We Are Humans, Not a Machine. Again, we are human, not a machine. Lately, I am nearing to quit. We have a choice to ease a bit. Life gets heavy. I need a lift. On my own daily humdrum fit. Where can I find cheer or solace? I need a chance for some balance. Wish I could grow wings to heaven and chain my heart for a moment. Modern life is the main culprit. Too stressful. We are part of it. We are likely a motor in haste. In slap dish of life, a rat race. How about a single moment? We let ourselves be quiet and plugged. Dilly dally, let ourselves rest. Be tickled, be kissed, and be hugged. We are human, not a machine. We need work and leisure to win. Life's constant battle is every day. Do not abuse yourself away. <laughs> that, that was my very simple poem. The title is We Are Human, Not a Machine. Thank you very much, Annette. Thank you so much. We are human. Sometimes good, <laughs> sometimes bad, right? <laughs> Thank you for sharing. That was yes. beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Waki is right on, right in time to recite. So, dear sir, if you recite your second poem, please. Uh, so sorry, my network is so bad, uh, and I think I'm back. So I'll be taking the next, my next poem titled Heal the World. I wrote this poem because I have the belief that poets and writers have the capacity to make a whole lot of difference in the world 
the oblivion. Encumbered by isms, world torn, schisms, by ideological prisms, we may talk with racism while manifest altruism. Where is our humanity, our essence in divinity, upholding life's dignity, conscience and purity, laid within true clarity? What's the tug of war that hunts and spore, mad terrorized for more, in ways unseen are for inflicting global soul? Quests arise and inspire with healing verse, sire, a broken world rewire in your vast aspire, help our world respire. Thank you. Thank you. Great poem. Thank you so much, Lucky. Appreciate it. Wonderful. Um, so shout out to Dr. Shaman as you are next. But uh, happy belated birthday to you. And was it Manisha also that had a July birthday? No, Manju, me, Manju, and you, and uh, oh. my six, uh, Manju seventh, and your eighth. So we yeah. are the lucky one. Yes, uh, I've decided yeah. I'm, I'm going to stop having birthdays after this year. So. <laughs> and Lucila is going to be on 19th. So we are all July born. So now I'm reciting my second poem. Uh, Love is a remedy, not disease. Love is a remedy, not disease. Just believe in the meaning of love. Don't let your hopes fade away. If you don't get your beloved in life, don't be depressed and gloomy. Remember the platonic love of Mira, as love is beyond physical self. Make it your inspiration and continue to live jovially. Your love will surely inspire you, even in the darkest phase of life. Remember life doesn't end with any losses, but it goes on with all its misfortune. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was beautiful. Dr. Shamanetz, appreciate it. And how many books is that you have? You said 20 some now that you've uh, published? What? 20 some uh, books. 20 some books you've published. Is that what you said earlier? 26. 26. Uh, some are edited, some are translated, some are authored, some are, um, uh, you can see, uh, when some books are, uh, belong to field of literature, I have, as I have edited some book, I have um, written, um, uh, authored some book, I have written a short story collection, and uh, there are some poetry uh, anthologies which I have edited. Mm -hmm. Two, I have published poetry anthology, one uh, my own and one with Deborah Brooks of US, and there are some anthologies which I have edited, and our PLC has also, has also edited some anthologies in which we all are editors. Very good. Well, accomplished, accomplished. Maybe I can get about half that much in my lifetime. We'll see. Thank you, Dr. Shamanez. Always wonderful poetry. Um, I, think I just muted myself. It's my turn to read. I just muted myself. <laughs> I'm actually going to read uh, one from my first book, which is Poetry Potpourri. And it's called uh, One More Day. If you could spend one more day with a loved one who is gone, would your heart rejoice with a breakout in song? Would you kiss and hug them tightly, never wanting to let go? Would you tell them how much you love them so they will always know? You might study their face, their curves, their lines. You may beg them to always be with you, to give you a sign. Plead with them and tell them how much you always want them near. Express to them imploringly that you will always hold them dear. Would you want them to hold your hand and brush tears from your face? Would you memorize their voice as it speaks, never letting your mind erase? Perhaps they aren't as far away as someone might suppose, for actually they live within us, a chapter our mind will never close. It's one more day. So, uh, so we're getting ready to start round three, and um, this this will be the uh, round where 
you go ahead and do your poet exchange uh, poems. So, and we're going to start with Thank Kathy Joe. I need one something? request. Yeah, one request. I'm very tired today as I uh, I have been part of uh, another event just now and I have some toothache problem also. Can I leave just now? Yes, Next time yes. I'll be the part of the event from beginning to end. Of course. I hope you feel better. Thank today. you so much and thank you everyone for your encouragement and encouraging. Uh, all, right. all the best to all the POP member and uh, we will uh, be again in another wonderful event. Thank you everyone. Thank you thank Annette you. for inviting feel, me. Thank feel you. better dear. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Kathy okay. Joe. Yes, this is the one that I did as an exchange. I have someone else's poem. And um you said it was is is it Batomi? This is uh, the one that uh, he sent. Okay, and it's uh war is senseless. Just as dusk spread feathers through deep valleys of sunset a grinding sound roared like a helpless fall of a matured coconut from its uncontrollable glue anguish from a dilapidated facility wore a scruffy robe dotted with grief loud shouts a bullet has spilled a little baby skull is this what war does even vipers spare innocence, but war doesn't. It's so senseless that a heartless beast it creates. It tends to spread black blankets on beautiful decorated streets and fumigate territories with stints of mammals decay. War is senseless. Peace is a meal. Let the world eat to stupor. Thank you, Kathy Jo. That was beautiful. And um, that was Isabel Tomey. Great words, great piece. So congratulations, Shiva. Thank you. Next, we're going to go on to Isabel Tomey. So you'll probably recite Kathy Jo's. You are next, sir. All right. That was a nice one from Mom Kathy Jo. Thank you. I so much appreciate it. All right, I'm doing Mam Kati Jo's poem, Jewels of the Earth. Sorry. Jewels of the Earth. In the bottom of our hearts and way down deep, there are treasures to be found where rare jewels do abound. They have a sparkle all their own as we can show oh how great they truly are each and every one is star diamonds glitter in the stash sorry diamond glitter glitter diamonds glitter in the stash that wants to shine in their true and proper place, filling folks with joy and grace. Rubies glow among them too, a crimson hue. There, the streams of life flow red, where it hurts and where we've bled. Emeralds lend the color green, in need for light. Living things grow well and sure and will prosper and endure. Sapphires cladding with the blue, a piece of sky, bring a glad and glorious day to the others on life's way. To pass yields a, glow, a golden glow, sun shining bright. We can bring this joy to you, help you weather problems too. Jewels rest within our hearts. Please go down deep. Bring them out for all to see. Share them, friends, so willingly. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful poem, Kathy. Great recitation. 
Thank you all for doing the pairing. That was wonderful. Um, so next up, we have Walida. You are next, my dear. If you would like to unmute yourself, please. My third poem is about a sleepless night. Am I dreaming? Oh, how is pain I am? For what I dreamt is a dream of an easy feeling. I can't sleep. Oh, how hard it is to close my eyes, as if I'm, I'm out of my way, having so many directions, which I can't decide for what. I sleep last night. So many things unbelievable for me. Men are crying. Begging for help, asking for peace, and hoping for peace. The world is in dilemma, knowing not what will happen to the future. Future full of nightmares, which make everyone wants to fly, fly away from the present. A sleepless night, crawling like a pen just to look for the bright side of life in order to live a life full of love and hatred no more. Aiming that my sleepless nights be not in a dark place, I prayed for a loving heart where people can converse with a heart full of compassion. A sleepless nights, a horrible dream that no one wants to be with that dream because men are involved Shouting over their voices. Let no one put, put a sign there. Let no one put a sign there what we, the people, are aiming for. We want peace. Peace of mind. Peace of heart. And peace for everyone. Because the world we live in is not ours it is a god given gift to mankind a sleepless night no more because god will lay lay his hand in us and make this a sleepless night night of blissful relationship for we will be one in heart thank beautiful you. thank you Thank you, thank you, that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that with us. Next, we have uh, uh, Vishwas. You would uh, please unmute yourself, yes. sir. Thank you. Yes. Mm. I would be reciting poem by Mildred. Mm. a wonderful poem, which is one around, the title is Old Habits. Mm. Many times, some loved one departs from our life and we are not able to move on as if there is a cage of memories where we are unable to throw the treasured memory in the dustbin so that is the poem the oral habit here i am again remaging my things here i am again remaging my things Searching for your photographs and whatnots and blinks among old things, bringing up the past that was done and over with. Bringing up the past that was done and over with. I guess I was stuck with the feelings that goes, with the lingering echoes. I guess I was stuck with the feeling that goes, with the lingering echoes, with the clinging scenarios. Imagine these mementos of values kept, I kept so long ago. Imagine these mementos of values I kept so long ago. <clears throat> I still kept in a box and kept in my heart. I want to hold on to your memories as much as I can. I want to hold on to your memories as much I, as I can. I don't know why. I don't know why. Though I want to move on, but how 
I was trapped, though I want to move on. But how I was trapped with no keys to your memories, with no keys to your memories. <laughs> Wonderful poem. <laughs> very, um, very beautiful poem, Mildred, and nice recitation as well. Mm. Thank you so much. Um, mm. All right, we are going to move on to Eddie. If you could please unmute yourself, sir. You are next. Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you. And this is my uh, a third poem. I'm uh, uh, Pastor Edgar Gualvez, Eddie Gualvez from the Philippines. Um, the, the title of my uh, third poem is uh, Safety in the Law of God. This is I started. I, I will start this way. Hey, those people show disloyal to you. Since that I preserve to love your law for me to follow. That you're my defender and my life protector. I put my hope what you have promised of. I rebuke, I rebuke sinful people to go away from me and leave me. I must obey you rather than human authority. Give me strength and wisdom as you promise that I shall leave. Don't let disappointed be on me and be the measure of relationship. Behold your promise for my safety and security. And from now on, keep me to your guidance and command. You reject everyone who disobey your laws, their deceitful schemes and business are useless. Thank you and Good evening, good morning to everyone. Thank you. Beautiful poetry. Thank you so much for sharing, Eddie. And we're going to move on to Shalini. Please uh, mute yourself. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be reading a short poem here. Verdant, uh, the title of the poem is Verdant Again. I might be withered, but not spritless like a deciduous tree even after my leaves fall off and decompose i will remain in soil like humus and nourishing food for a seed sprouting and inside that seedling i will be burdened once again thank you thank you beautiful beautiful Next, we are going to, uh, dear Gloria, you are next. Hi, so um, I'm going to read a poem that I partner with uh, Maria Ele Evelyn Kila Soleta, and her poem is titled, When Love's a Mistake, and here it goes. His lips that once fested on lemon drops kiss now her own strawberry rush. Guilty consciences, caught in a trance of betrayals flaunting love's arrogance. Forbidden ban traitors claim its sweetest when sinners lurk in dark closets. In a pulsating beat of high crescendo, lovers dance to arithmetically ill tempo, blind to morals wrong as wrong can be. This dreaded sin of passion old as history is the better crime hush most privately or lemon drops taste like strawberries. And that is a poem by Miss Evelyn Soleda. This is Gloria from San Francisco. And hopefully we could do this again. And again, this is Gloria Magallanes Loeb in San Francisco, California. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Gloria. Wonderful poem and wonderful recitation. So congratulations to you both. We are now going on to Susther. If you will unmute yourself, I think you also have uh, a, 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 po a parent poetry thing to do. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Welcome once again. Am I audible? Thank you. I'm going to <clears throat> recite a very beautiful poem, uh, which is written by Mr. Uh, Gupal Sinha, honorable, honorable poet from India. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm going to your, <laughs> recite your poem. A, uh, the poem title is A Full Rainbow at Bangalore. A unique rainbow round the sun glows. Sky was clear, though raining sometimes ago. How is this close interaction? And scientists say eyes, crystal, and reflection may be their right properties of life. Being a novice, I am better with that. Life you create and sustain our ecosystem, the sun and rain. Sometimes I think. An easier situation for them. Sun is proposing to the cool rain. Sun is proposing to the cool rain with a ring of beautiful rainbow, usual promises and bow. Sun being captivated, good and bad, women debated, rains and clouds flirting. Is the sun daydreaming? Oh, the great sun, sweet the hello, provide light, heat, energy, around and below. For the immense favors upon us, you bestow, I'm really grateful and bold. I'm really grateful and bold. A very beautiful poem and by uh, Dupal Sinha from India. Uh, my beloved and honorable poet, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reciting. That was um, difficult to hear as well. So if either one of you, Gopal or Sessler, wants to uh, put the poem into the comment section so we can read it, that would be wonderful. Um, so next, we have your cohort. Gopal, you are next to read his. If you would please um, unmute yourself, sir. Gopal, it's your, your turn, please, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So now I am going to recite a very beautiful poem with the caption, Still I am waiting. It has been written by Mr. Susthir Ranjan Sorkar from Bangladesh. So here I begin with utmost respect. Billions years have passed. Billions years have passed, but still I am waiting. Billions years have passed, but still I am waiting, waiting only for you, waiting only for you, and traveling into time cycles, and traveling into time cycles through your mind restless, through your mind restless, generation to generation, generation to generation, to see the new sun of hope to see the new sun of hope for mankind and to the humanity for mankind and to the humanity i crossed mountain of obstacles i crossed mountain of obstacles or crossed the desert with fearless or crossed the desert with fearless and is still walking only for you and is still working only for you to enrich the neurons with love. To enrich the neurons with love, I am the consciousness is still alive. I am the consciousness is still alive. My eyes awakened all the time. My eyes awakened all the time. Though the stars 
and night goes to sleep though the stars and night goes to sleep i am still i am still waiting for you i am still waiting for you thank you beautiful recitation wonderful poem sister so congratulations to you both on your collaboration there um thank you so much next up we have um evelyn please if you would care to go next dear okay so um thanks once again and i would like to thank uh, miss uh, gloria for reciting my poem i want to do justice to the poem she wrote i will be reciting it tonight and uh, it's entitled longing longing waiting to hear the jingling of keys seeing your happy face to fill the void i feel in my empty space beaming with love you gave me a tender kiss on my lips is the only moment i never want to miss we cook together and watch our favorite show and enjoy singing old love songs with dance of laughter being silly and coy Eating brunch at any time of day was just fine. Strolling in the park hand in hand as two lovebirds twitting and cooing. Now a faint drop of water is all the noise what's left that keeps me awake. Don't know how it started. Fueled by anger of unworthiness or jealousy. Consumed like a ball of fire. about to explode you left abruptly leaving me pain crying my eyes out speechless and drooped what have you done to us our relationship can't be over i'm barely hanging to shreds of hope and pray longing for the day you walk back through that door and stay thank you very much beautiful beautiful recitation and beautiful poem so congratulations to Gloria and Evelyn lovely thank you so much um Dr. Manisha you are up next dearest thank you so much now here is one of my poem i have translated tarik gunarsal sar's poem so would you like to hear the hindi version of it before i uh, what i have translated then i will go for the english one may i okay thank you so the title of the poem is overter which i have translated into hindi and the title is prastav main manav hu it's a short poem main manav hu main anya jeevo ke sath rehta hu मैं प्रकृति का भाग हूँ मैं अच्छे कर्मों एवं एकजुटता के लिए हूँ मैं अन्याय एवं हिंसा के विरुद्ध हूँ मानव होने के मेरे अधिकार हैं और विश्व शांति के कर्तव्य भी योगदान से योगदान संभव नाउ द इंग्लिश वर्जन रिटन बाय तारिक सर इज आई एम ह्यूमन आई लिव विद अदर ह्यूमन बींग्स I am a part of nature. I am for good deeds and solidarity. I am against injustice and violence. I have rights as a human and duties for world peace. May contributions lead to contributions. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you for doing in both um, tongues there. So I appreciate it. You did a wonderful job. Thank you, Dr. Manisha. Dear Mildred, you are up next, and I do believe you have one to share uh, as far as okay. your combined uh, efforts. Thank you. This is from Mr. Vishwas <coughs> Vaidya. I hope I read his name well. <laughs> I'm not so sure. This is for uh, Vishwas Vaidya, uh, the one who recited my poem a while ago, and thank you for the wonderful reading of my poem. His title is a silent duet. Okay, a silent duet. The air is 
thick with colors of life, listening with a thrilling shiver to the distant rhythm of your jingling footsteps. Why can't your heart skip a few of its beats and let your killing gaze silence the rest of my beats? Blending our two hearts in one piece of sky, tapping its feet to our old, to our silent duet. So that is his piece. I hope I've read it well for him. Very nice poem, actually. Thank you very much. It's been a lovely night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, congratulations to both of you. That was wonderful as well. <laughs> wonderfully written and yes. excited. So next time, next we are going to Lucky. You will please do yours. Uh, thank you for the time. Okay, this time I'll take uh, my last poem. The title is My Vocation and Calling. All right, I wrote this poem when I finally made up my mind that I will be writing for a long, long, long time of the death of the past. So I wrote this poem to always remind myself. My vocation and calling. Stepping aside myself, I crave something I frequently enjoy. Giving my vocation and calling. Whenever I feel the urge, especially when seeking answers, I severe my bodily limitation. Though once wish I had a telescope to view at night, gazing at the galaxies beyond. Now that I am, I, I am a mind, an astronaut, the spaceship I would journey, saw the planets and Milky Way. Nor am I a spiritualist who bear metaphysical names, keep crystal ball and read tarot. But I'm fortunate as a poet, hence I step aside myself via my imagination explore, perceive their words, meditation, my mind's eye, see and reason, aspire vicariously to inspire. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lucky. I forgot to mute myself. I apologize if I made any noise. <laughs> so I will um, end this with uh, my poem. And um, I was going to read the writer, which is also from my first book. But now I'm having a hard time finding it. So uh, I thought it was towards the beginning, but maybe not. Um, he, oh, I just found it. <laughs> so, closed it. so this is called The Writer. This was written quite some time ago. But it actually pertains to a lot of us because we are writers. And... There it is, okay. The writer. The writer wields his pen on the page, his words flow, his words conjuring a story, its tale leading you to a different place you will go. His words have no limits, no constraints can be felt. Its contents can make you cry or pause. Linda, I bought a place. Um, just a moment. I'm going to mute. Okay. I'm actually going to start over again. I'm sorry. Um, the writer wields his pen on pages of words to flow. His words conjuring stories, tell leading you to a different place you'll go. His words have no limits, no constraints can be felt. His context can make you cry or cause a hardened heart to melt. Words have great power, and in them, the essence can be conveyed. It can lead you as you become spellbound, causing feelings of vast array. Does the author not truly know his power that lies within his pen? Thoughts become words flowing like lightning. They can be weaken even strong men. Great writing can become embedded and into your mind it can bore. With the lilt of his pen, he writes a story, the end result, leaving you wanting more. So that concludes my poem and concludes this session. Everyone can um, unmute if you wish, because we're saying goodbye. 
So love and blessings to you all. Thank you for a lovely session. Thank you for sharing your Thank poetry. You. And um, love and blessings, yes. So thank, thank you. you. For, yeah, thank, thank you to everyone. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, so thank you, thank you so much, Miss Annette. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Goodbye from the Philippines. <laughs> Namaskar. Shubratri from India. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye. Hi, Bukababayan. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. At nakikita tayo rito. Yes. <laughs> Ilan tayo nga taga Pilipinas? Di mayaka yun, apat. <laughs> you are five in the Philippines, I think, or less than five. You have a very good uh, point. I thank you so much. <laughs> we are all. <laughs> you are all very good. All very good. <laughs> and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank okay, you. Thank you. Good morning. Bye. Okay, good morning. <laughs>